Hi. Today's topic is acceleration of the particle executing as such. So very simple expression. Easily we can derive it. So afterwards we will derive time period and frequency also. We will derive expression for time period, expression for frequency also. So in the same diagram, little bit changes I have done it. So understand better here. So already we know about this diagram. In the previous lectures, we have seen it. Here P is the particle. From P towards the center of the particle, center of the circle O, centripetal acceleration R omega square is acting. R omega square is centripetal acceleration. Why R omega square is centripetal acceleration? You know centripetal force is mv square by R. You know already. You know already. So since you know V is equal to R omega, suppose if you are substituting the value of R omega here, m R square omega square by R. So if you are cancelling R, 1R is cancelled, then you will get m R omega square. Here m is mass, R omega square is acceleration. So force equal to mass into acceleration. So mass m, acceleration is R omega square. So this R omega square is acting towards the center of the circle. So if it is theta, it is also theta. This angle also theta. So the R omega square can be resolved or divided into two components. One is R omega square sin theta along Pm and R omega square cos theta along Pn. So we are not going to use this. We are going to use this only. R omega square sin theta. Because so the acceleration of n I want to find out. So as like in the previous case, if I want to know the acceleration of n, Along y y prime, along this vertical direction y y prime, which component is acting along y y prime? R omega square sin theta is the component which is acting along y y prime. So the acceleration of n, the acceleration of n, acceleration of n is equal to R omega square sin theta. Acceleration of n is equal to R omega square sin theta. Here already you know sin theta sin theta is uh, almost uh, equal to sin omega t because theta is equal to omega t sin omega t you know the value sin omega t is equal to y by r from the displacement of the particle executing shm i know y equal to r sin theta or r sin omega t so sin omega t is equal to y by r suppose if you are substituting the value of y by r here r omega square into y by r so r r cancelled omega square y so here in the last step what i am writing a is equal to minus omega square y because the acceleration is always opposite to the displacement so the negative sign indicates that the acceleration is always opposite to the displacement suppose i am pulling the bob spear in this direction in the simple pendulum the displacement is in this direction the acceleration is opposite direction. So acceleration and displacement are always opposite to each other. So A is equal to minus omega square is the expression for acceleration of the particle executing SHM. So you know the significance of the negative sign. It indicates that acceleration and uh, displacement they are oppos always opposite to each other. So next we will go to time period and frequency. Time period of the particle. So time period of the particle executing SHM, how we will find out? So by finding the time period, we will also easily find out the frequency. Because frequency is equal to reciprocal of time period. 1 by time period is called frequency. So easily you can find out. So what is time period? Time period T is equal to angular displacement. Angular displacement by angular velocity. Angular displacement by angular velocity because the particle is moving in the circular motion in the circumference of the circle so angular displacement angular velocity is involving here it is not moving in the linear motion so we are saying angular displacement by angular velocity so t is equal to what is angular displacement suppose the particle starts from the point x it reaches the point p x uh, theta is the angle made at the center of the circle suppose when the particle p completes one revolution when the particle P completes one revolution, what is the angle made by the particle at the center of the circle? If it rotates 2 pi, 2 pi radian, that means 360 degree divided by, what is angular velocity? Omega. T is equal to 2 pi by omega. 
already we just now we have derived a is equal to omega square y so omega is equal to square root of a by y so in the previous case we have derived the expression for acceleration of the particle executing a section so from that omega is equal to square root of a by y so if you are substituting the value 2 pi square root of a by y then 2 pi is equal to square root of y by a that means 2 pi into square root of displacement by acceleration this is the expression for time period of the particle executing shm so suppose next we want to find out frequency frequency easily we will find out frequency of the particle executing shm easily we will find out so how we will find out frequency is equal to frequency n is equal to 1 by time period so time period we know suppose if you are there taking reciprocal of this expression 1 by t n is equal to 1 by t that means 1 by all this value so the value will be changed 1 by 2 pi square root of displacement by acceleration so if you are taking inverse you will get acceleration by displacement so this is the expression for frequency of the particle executing a section so if you are uh, deriving the time period it is easy to derive the expression for a frequency also so it is combined one time period and frequency so now we have completed acceleration of the particle executing a section time period and frequency thank you very much